Hey everyone, my name is Brandon and I post game videos on YouTube. Anubis! <laughs> Leo, wait! Auman chose me. The universe and human subconscious are willing their own end! For Metal Gear Solid fans out there, stick around to the end of this video, I've got good news. But the main topic is the cult hit Zone of the Ender. The HD collection finally has a release in North America of October 30th. For anyone wondering, it's the same day as Assassin's Creed 3. And unfortunately for my European viewers, it still doesn't have a date, but it's targeted not too long after. And for an HD collection, not bad. I never really had a chance to play the series back when it came out on the PlayStation 2, but I've heard such amazing things about it. And I mean, come on! Giant mechs fighting each other? How could you not like that? Just a quick recap on the series for anyone who's never seen it. It's much like a Metal Gear Solid title. It's very cutscene heavy. You got crazy mechs fighting. The action's intense. I've heard a lot of people say that it's Metal Gear Solid done right. So whatever that means, take it in consideration. And from what I can tell, and that's just my limited experience, the lighting has improved a lot. Yes, it is a futuristic setting, but for some reason the game always looked dark and depressing when I used to look at it. Zone of the Enders always had that interesting art style, and I always thought it was a shame that every shadow in that game covered the beautiful art. I mean, even the cover looks amazing. And of course, it's going to be a sharper game, the resolution's going to be higher. And when you have giant mechs fighting each other, it's almost a crime not to have it at 60 frames per second. There's just so much action going on screen, you want to see it as fast as possible. And if you're a Metal Gear Solid fan like myself, Metal Gear Rising will be featured as a demo in this game. Of course, if anyone remembers, Zone of the Enders back on the PlayStation 2 also had Metal Gear Solid 2's tanker mission, so everything kind of feels like it's going back full circle. I like that move, it was really nice. And again, as an MGS fan, I can't wait to see what the series creator did with Zone of the Enders. I always felt that Kojima has been stuck with the MGS franchise. He did one game on the Game Boy Advance, I believe, but Zone of the Enders is a game that he really does love, so I'm interested in seeing what his brilliant mind delivers. In your comments below, are you getting the Zone of the Enders HD collection? And have you ever played it before? Tell me your thoughts on it. As always, you're watching TYT Gaming, hosted by Brandon.